Hello and welcome to this Fortify Aviator introductory demo. Before showing the product itself, let's take a brief moment to discuss the drivers that made us create it. The state of application security is evolving rapidly and three factors drive a need for reimagination. There is DevSecOps requiring us to balance the needs of both developers and security. There's a need to achieve effective risk reduction in an ever more complex landscape. And then of course, there's the AI revolution, creating both new threats and new opportunities. False positive management and issue remediation is a central theme tying into all these three factors. High false positive rates will alienate developers and prevent true DevSecOps. And without remediation, there is no risk reduction. Luckily, AI can help us out here. This is where Fortify Aviator comes in. Fortify Aviator is a new service that leverages AI LLM technology to automatically audit SAS findings and assist with remediation. With Fortify Aviator, you can finally tackle that growing backlog, enhance developer productivity when using AppSec tools, and reduce the friction they experience in that process. Let's take a quick look at Fortify Aviator in action. Fortify Aviator is currently offered as part of the Fortify On Demand SaaS offering, so let me start by logging into that portal. Here we see a demo application that has already been set up, and let me start by showing you how to enable Fortify Aviator. It's really simple. Whenever I set up a static scan, all I have to do is to check the Fortify Aviator box, accept the conditions, and now when that static scan is executed, the Fortify Aviator auditing process will automatically be executed after that. In this case, I've already done that, so I can take you straight to the results. What we see here is that there are four issues visible in the portal, three critical ones and one high ones. After the original SAS scanning, there were more, but some have been audited by Fortify Aviator as false positives. I can get those back by choosing to also seeing the suppressed issues, and now we see that originally there were seven. Let's have a look at one of the false positive issues that Aviator identified. I'll take one that's pretty easy to understand, but also pretty common. It's a hard-coded password issue. So here, if we look at the code, we see that line 22 reads, string password equals please provide a password. To a SAST algorithm using traditional deterministic techniques, this looks like a hard-coded password because it's a variable called password and it gets initialized using a string constant. To a human, it would be pretty obvious that this is not actually a password. This is a message about a password. Let's see how Fortify Aviator looks at this issue. Here we can see that Fortify Aviator has changed the auditor status from pending review to not an issue, thereby suppressing the issue uh, because it's a false positive. So it has correctly identified that this is a false positive. Also, Fortify Aviator provides an explanation of why it has made this decision. That's what we see here in the next comment. It says that the code line flagged by Fortify is not actually a hard-coded password. It is simply a string constant used as a human-readable label or message. This does not pose a security risk. That's an excellent analysis, uh, and it shows that Fortify Aviator really understands uh, this issue and can do this type of auditing. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website for additional details. Among many other resources, you can find a longer demo here showing more complicated issue examples. Importantly, this demo also covers the remediation capabilities. For now, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.